Welcome, friends of Paulus Ekdomaier's Dagger. Today uh, we looked at play number two. And um, as always, we will first show the play from both sides, so you have an idea what this is all about. And then we bubble a little bit, now we ex try to explain what um, we thought about this. So, um, we begin. <coughs> hmm. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, five. And from the other side. Um kleines Stück zu mir noch. Kleines Stück zu mir. So. in the second piece that we begin with uh, stepping towards our opponent. What he doesn't say is uh, that we change the hands. So what you see in the picture is that the attacker actually attacks with the left hand. So we thought, okay, we can use a little bit of Talhofer here and the so-called Swiffelstich, uh, which is you don't know where my attack is coming from. So I can, uh, I could come from the right side or I could also say, well, I could come from the left side and um, this is what we do here. And this is what, what Paul Sektormeyer shows. He actually shows the, um, the attacker is coming with the left arm to the right side of the opponent. Um, you remember in the last game, uh, last play, we had uh, an attack on the right side with the right arm. Now we have an attack on the right side with the left arm. Um, Inga responds to this by taking it out with uh, the ice pick grip. So <clears throat> I do my I do my fancy thing here. Say, so, wow, okay, um, change my hand, make a cross step over here come to her right side, she takes this out and steps in with her right foot and of course I have my hand here. Um, I want to take my hand here um, because I know she has a dagger too and I want to protect my neck. So actually what I should do, <laughs> what I should do when I, when I go forward is I step and I go in, into, this, um, into this posture. So I, I protect a part of my, of my breast and I protect my neck here. So now she's, um, she's taking that out and taking my elbow and pushing it above, which is unfortunate for me. And now you see why it's useful to have, um, to have your hand here because she will step in my hand or my arm. Anyway, she can go to my face. Um, we zeigen es mal von der anderen Seite. So again, from the other side, I think you, you, can, you can see more there. So I come here, 
She, she attacks me, oh, goes over there. So now I step back with my right foot and um, actually it, it has to be in death in the moment when she comes and I overbind her here with my arm and step towards her face. She doesn't like that. So uh, what she's doing is she's overbinding again to control my dagger. And now you remember I still have my arm here, which is very fortunate because I can go here and I switch hands and take, push her down with my, with my left hand and I can go upwards with my, with my dagger here. But last step, she also has a left hand and this left hand she uses to control my uh, <laughs> she yeah Doug, no. she uses to control uh, to control my uh, my attack arm and now she goes over and I push it down. Uh, she pushes me down yes and here she still controls me right and uh, for me it, it gets harder to to hold her hand here and she still holds my hand here and now she pushes me with her, with her dagger hand ah. and um, yeah, and this actually works because she's strong here and I'm weak here. So um, she doesn't, what she doesn't do is, they gehen noch mal bis dahin. What she doesn't Ach so, okay, yeah. What she doesn't do. Oh. No, oh. So, drei, vier. Yeah. What she doesn't do is leaving my hand here. So if she leaves my hand here, that's my los, uh, and instead of that um, goes for my shoulder and, and tries to stab with, my, with her dagger to me, I can easily cut her here. So this is, I think, or we think that uh, Maya says in, in this last part, um, you're just pushing away because you are controlling. You need the control, otherwise you get hit. We do this again. Uh, from a different angle so you can see more what happens in uh, part 5. So I come again with my Zwiffelstich, she takes this out and uh, goes in, takes my arm, I switch over, want to go for her neck, but she parries that, I go over her hand, switch my hands, take the dagger in the other hand and now she grabs my arm, pushes it down, goes over there and has an easy has an easy push with her dagger hand and she's pushing me on my shoulder. So, um, let's zeigen noch mal, noch mal seitlich. Um, so, I have, I have her hand here and want to go there, but she grabs me there and pushes me down because now she can, she can um, without danger, go over, uh, go over there. Otherwise, I would cut her with, with, my, with my knife and, and there she can, she can push me. And yeah, as, I, as I, I think I already mentioned it, and this is why we think um, Paolo Sector Maya doesn't do any attack in this last part, because you need the dagger to, uh, to control. Okay, that's it for now. Um, I hope you had fun and you have fun uh, doing that. Thank you Inga for sweating with me here. And um, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.